I'm a single working mom of three and I like making videos like this one if you like these videos like this one please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel I'm coming through with a crossery haul a monthly crossery haul every single month in my family we make a crossery at the end of each month that will last us the whole month so I did that today is the ninth yesterday I went to Zanin again and made our crosseries and here is the receipt and the savings card from checkers that i always use at shoprite and at checkers as well in this month's grocery it costed us 2529 rand we are just adding up just a little bit there and there we did not do like last month a whole lot of groceries i was just adding a lot of stuff that I was missing even there is still some of the stuff that are not here but are gonna be on the bulk bulk buy that i'm trying to introduce into our buying and all that fun stuff so I hope you guys like this closet haul and then if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel let's just go ahead and get into this video starting from down here we've got one kg of large carrots and then next to it we have the sparkling apples the red apples next to it and then next to this one again we have the red onions like I said last month I'm so happy that I can buy these red onions like in a pack so I'm happy about that and then next to it again I've got the tomatoes the two kgs these are the big one they actually last us a long time I'll put them in the fridge probably three weeks we can go three weeks because we don't really use much of it if we are making pasta we can add it with the pasta sauce as well and make it saucy and all that fun stuff down here again we got the kids yogurt we already took two my son ate one and I had one for breakfast I put it in my granola in the morning and then we have other we got one two three and then this was number four so we got that for the kids when they take on their backpack to school and then down here we got full cream of milk actually we actually take a lot of milk these days i think this is in the last month this i think is the fifth pack of milk that we bought because the kids like want to have breakfast in the morning so they've been eating a lot of breakfast in the morning so we are pretty much eating a lot of these so even though it's a monthly crossery haul don't get fooled we do go and buy add up on the milk and eggs that's the most of the stuff that we add up on during the month here on the frozen side i put them in the refrigerator guys because it's summer and we can't risk putting them on the outside so this is the buddhavars the champion buddhavars i like this one better and then down here we got lean beef mince we got three of these i wish there were four i never found uh, the the one that the pack actually that has four in them so i had to take these three but if it was four it would make perfect sense to me because my mind actually works like that if there is four then i'll know that it will last us the four weeks that are in the month and then down here we got a stewing beef so this is for all that special meals that i talk about that your sunday meals that we always have and then we'll do like a stewing beef down here again i got the cornflakes the kellogg's cornflakes sorry uh, so i got the kellogg's cornflakes up there 
which my kids don't really eat much of but we actually ran out of the wheat, wheat picks during the month so they had to eat these but they don't really like them i could see that they will leave some in their plates they don't actually like them that much but we bought them again and then here is a box of the wheat picks that we always buy these ones they love a lot this is the family pack we buy this family pack the 72 biscuits in them then they last us the whole pretty much the whole month actually because maybe in the last week of the month that's when they will finish but they they truly finish almost finish the month okay, on the chicken side we've got the 5 kg frozen chicken portions so we always buy this goldie, we always buy two of them and again I didn't buy two this month I'm still I'm yet to go and buy the chicken breast I couldn't find them at checkers this time around but I'm going to Savannah Mall soon to go buy them when I'm going to actually buy the other stuff that are not here like your tissues and the bath soap and stuff we're gonna buy those in bulk and see how those are gonna run for us and try and introduce a new way of buying groceries so that we don't buy every single month like a bath soap and Colgate all that so we want to put it in like a bulk I will actually share with you when that comes around here we've got a bag of testic rice ours this time around did not last a month guys we bought the same no we didn't buy I think we bought two cages two cages but two of them I think they were special last month then we bought two of them I don't know I don't remember if it was the five cages or the two cages but they are finished and then I bought another five kg here Hopefully it's gonna last us a month because we actually change up our meals. We don't eat one thing over and over again. And then here I got the number one Iwisa stamp. This one actually takes longer because even this one we don't cook it a lot. We will just keep some month without eating it, but it it lasts us a whole lot. And then here I thought I'd try something new because last time remember guys like at checkers where i started doing my groceries now they have these bigger things that i've never seen before but only in their stores so i rather i bought this one rather than the two the two sheet rolls that i always buy so i bought this mighty big one so i hopefully it's gonna be fitting on my little sheet stand so i hope this is gonna fit but and i hope it's gonna last us a whole lot because i thought why not try this one and not buy the two that i always buy but we'll Give you an update on this one and on how is it going but we just want to try new things as well down here again we got a bag of tomatoes last time they were i all i know is that last time it was more expensive i, I don't remember but this time it was 69 rand so i don't remember i'll rewatch the video and see how much was this the last time but we bought another 7 kg of potato bag and then we bought 3 kgs of onions and all that fun stuff so down here i'm pretty much done let me just go up there so and share with you the rest of the groceries that i have down there let me just give you an overview of the ones that are down here I said that I need you. up here i've got my breakfast i got the tropical best granola love 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 this stuff so I didn't, I couldn't find the bigger one like last time, but I bought this one instead because I still have more anyways. So they, that's not a trend smash. And then here, I'm getting into like this refill kind of stuff. Like I haven't been following the refill method kind of stuff, but these days I am truly trying to follow that on a serious note. I got the Aromat Original Seasoning. I'm, I have a bottle. I've got an empty bottle actually let me just show it to you i got this big one it's almost empty i'm gonna fill it up with the one that i bought today so i'm trying to do a whole lot not just on the spices and on the stay soft but i'm gonna do them with a whole lot of my groceries so that i don't have to buy containers and throw them out and actually save our planet guys and save on plastics and all of that and then here on the chicken spice i got the chicken the biggest chicken spice so we use this a whole lot we still have but a little bit of it so i'm gonna refill our bottle we've got the robertson bottle that we're gonna refill into like like i said we are trying to save a uh, the planet by saving on plastic and all this stuff that we use in our houses so that's that and then back here 
this archer is back in my house i'm trying to actually not buy it but it's back here there's really nothing much i can do i bought it again because i'm starting to have a problem with spicy food i used to love spicy food a lot but these days my stomach can't tolerate it i guess it's getting older when you get older obviously your body doesn't tolerate a whole lot of stuff okay i've got the crushed garlic and uh that's all there's nothing special about the crushed garlic so it's just a crushed garlic and then here i've got the chicken viennes we don't really eat a lot of these but we got them this time around for the kids to try on something new and then here i got the pamela cheese hardly guys we never have cheese in my house we never really buy on cheese but the kids seems to be loving this and i got them and then this one i'm sure you guys are familiar with this one too i got parmesan cheese it's super expensive guys it's like 75 rand for this little brick and i got two because i realized that we won't last it actually lasts the whole month but we just need more parmesan who doesn't need more of a parmesan cheese and then back here we got the fresh cream i didn't get the clover one but i got this one time around so you know guys it's pasta pasta time all here i'm talking pasta everything and then here i got the heavy duty kitchen scurras three plus one free so that means how many four like i said last month and then here i got the handy andy kitchen i love this stuff i love this stuff this smells so amazing i use it everywhere the one that i got only lasted a month so i think i'm gonna have to stock up on this one because it goes a long way it actually works on a whole lot of stuff in the house and then here i got the rich nourishing the nivea body lotion it actually took me a month and a half to finish the one that i had the last time so i'm happy about that that i'm not wasting on it so this time i got another one and hopefully it's gonna last me a whole lot like i said in the summer i use the nivea and then in the winter i go into like yours what is that thing I go into like epimax but this is what i use in the summer and then here i've got fresh natural even this one we want to buy them in like a big bulk bulk buying and stuff but we we ran out so i had to get two for me and my cousin then we will buy those whenever we have time obsessed 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 with these i buy this every single week and i make sure that on my monthly grocery i'm gonna add it up the big ones that can take me like that the first week of the month so i got the blueberries i got the strawberries nothing special there and then i have the spring onion which i like putting them in a uh, like a little mason jar with water and then it lasts me a whole lot than when i put them in my refrigerator just like that but when i put it in water it just keeps on growing and i i can use this for like your whole month without buying another spring onion again it gives like instant gratification guys like you just feel like wow i'm growing something and it just keeps on growing that's just so much fun one day i'm gonna have a garden guys and then you guys are gonna see the kind of stuff i used to have a garden back at home at my, my my parents house i used to have a little corner of like my gardening but because i was going to school and all of that i couldn't take care of it but i did have some stuff i think i harvested some carrots back in the days and i was so happy that is like my happy place one day you're gonna see that and then here on the checkers card actually this month i couldn't save a lot on the checkers card but this one was on the checker savings card i think for two I, I don't remember what 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 was that for like two of them for something but the thing is they always have the apple flavor they don't have any other flavor it's difficult to buy a lot of them so i just bought two instead and just keep it moving we've got ingoma Azi. This one's gotta be in the house when you have little ones. So I got that. I don't really eat much of that. These things makes me fall asleep, guys. I don't play around them because I know that I'll just be lazy around, especially during the day. I cannot, cannot eat that. And then here I got the tomato sauce. When I was shopping, actually, I wanted the, may the mayonnaise too, and I could not find it. The drama actually of shopping in a in a different supermarket. You can. It's not easily. It's not easy to find things that you you want because it's not your typical supermarket that you always go to so i gave up i was like no no mayonnaise this month because i do not like looking for things either so here i've got the spirit vinegar this goes into our laundry it goes into my homemade cleaning detergents 
this is gonna just gonna finish like in two weeks or three weeks so it's gonna finish we use a whole lot of these and then here guys i've got my nescafe gold is back in the house i broke it i got i actually got this what kgs or milligrams is this one i can't really find that yeah so i got this the same size last time but i broke it guys and i tried to salvage it but it was just dangerous i could just feel in my spirit that this is dangerous there's probably little glasses in there then i went ahead and bought another one hopefully this is gonna last me like six months something like that as long as i make sure that i close it and it's airtight i don't have a problem but i went ahead and bought my nescafe gold again and then here i got the almond breeze but this time i found the almond and oak mill so i thought okay let me try this one because i always buy the other one that you always see on my videos so i got this one this time around it's the same price actually it's 39.99 i don't really mind so i just want to taste how this one tastes actually i should be like on a gluten-free kind of diet because guys i'm having trouble with like your pasta rice bread i can't actually if i eat bread when i'm sleeping or um, at night and when i eat pasta at night i have trouble i have to wake up in the middle of the night try and drink a whole lot of water so that i can feel fine i am trying to go be like a gluten-free kind of a diet be on a gluten-free diet so that i can just feel better about myself because wow it is getting real like i said like getting older is not a joke it will just reveal some stuff that you never thought were a problem but i'm having a whole lot of problem with rice and pasta and bread and all that i don't know if it's nasty stuff to others but to me it seems to be a nasty thing right now it's not working for me i should be on a whole grain kind of diet but we'll see about that i'm still trying to learn about that and see if that can i can incorporate it into my like my daily eating habits and all that moving right along and then here i've got your apple cider vinegar i've always been an athlete a sporty kind of person so when we were younger and doing sports my coach actually used to say that when we had like a rough day of training he would say when you get home have a bath a warm bath with the apple cider vinegar it will just make your muscle calm down and then makes you relax then you won't feel a whole lot of pain in the next day so i always have this I see a lot of people drink it in the morning but I don't like the taste of this and so I only use it on my body as well. It tightens other stuff too which I won't be able to mention on like YouTube and it also gets rid of your like small and bad odor and stuff. Your feminine odor, let me say that, it treats that very well because when you are like, um, I started running recently so when you are actually active and all you kind of have this odor that is like not normal because you're sweating and then there's a whole lot of toxins that comes out of your body but when you want to get rid of that odor and then to relax your muscles as well and your feminine care and all that fun stuff please incorporate apple cider vinegar into your routine into your maybe exercising routines when you actually taking your bath and all that fun stuff it works amazing i learned about this like i said on uh, when my coach used to advise us to bath with it whenever we had a rough day of training so that we don't have to have that pain in the morning works like magic i use this the first week of my running so that i cannot feel pain at all and yes it works like magic here i've got pure honey this goes into my tea this goes into my oats I don't use I don't really use table sugar. I don't do, like, hardly. I ever use table sugar. I only use this one, but I do have sugar in the house. But I don't really use much of sugar in my house when it's actually my food. I don't. So I got this one. I always buy this one. So probably it's gonna last me two months because I'm the only one that is that. This one, the stock country spread, is back in the house. I bought it this month again. We still have but i bought to just add it up because it won't last us the whole month i got a plug my house needs a whole lot of plugs because we always want to plug in our phones i got a power bank as well and i've got a 
all the household stuff that needs to be done so I, we, I needed to add up on this and i still need an extension because i've got two lamps that needs to be lit at the same time but i can't be able to do that but i'm gonna add up on that when time goes again i went and bought the what is it the noodles again the two minutes noodles again my kids been loving this they've been asking for this it's almost irritating because they all they always ask for these noodles and i bought them again so the knickknacks guys so i got i'm not even gonna touch into that let, let me just count them one two three four i got four packs of those long knickknacks so they're gonna just gonna take a pack and take to school i don't do them all at the same time i don't give them like a yogurt and knickknack and a juice at the same time one day it will be the knickknacks one day it will be the nutri day yogurt that's how and an apple maybe on the other but we don't i don't actually give them all of these snacks at the same time that's it guys from today's grocery haul and if you liked it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in my next one bye all these people in this